Everyone here has bought tickets, and UCCS administration had told us that basically those tickets were no longer being accepted. ShireSociety.com Is it true that the protesters are going to be asked to be in a free speech zone? I am not, a, not I'm not informed of what's what that side of the aisle is doing. Um, okay. I I'm encouraged that people are excited about the event. Um, it seems like we've got a good line over here starting up, so I think uh, it'll be a fun time for for everybody. I heard that someone from Colorado Springs anti-fascist threatened one of the uh, Colorado Spring or Colorado uh, you know, uh, college Republicans here on campus. Is that correct? Um, I'm not informed of that. Um, <laughs> But uh, I don't encourage that kind of behavior. Um, I'm a law and order sort of person, and any sort of violence in my eyes is not acceptable, nor will it be tolerated. So um, if someone wants to behave that way, that's their choice. But just know that there is consequences and there's repercussions to everything that you do. So. It's interesting you say you're against violence. Are you against the, how many bombs has Trump dropped in the last two days? Um, no bombs that I'm concerned of. That's, that's not um, what I've been informed of. But uh, that's violence, though, isn't it? Uh, oh, I think there's a difference you, between violence and protecting the people about about of the United maybe States. Executive so. orders. What I can tell you about is that there's executive orders that the president signed um, in regards to the pipeline that's going to be built. Uh, he had an interview with ABC News last night uh, with regards to the wall. Um, the next four years are looking good. Well, uh, you know, it's not as if Obama didn't drop 26,000 bombs last year, so... Um, if you're talking about Syria or um, other conflicted areas, certainly there's been a lot of activity in those countries, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's more of that happening. We do have a radicalized group of individuals, um, and if that's... Uh, we need to address that as soon as possible and as quickly as possible. We need to bring a swift end to sick, demented people. All right. Thanks for your yep. answers. Thank you. All right. Take care. But, oh, okay. Well, basically, everyone here has bought tickets from oh. Michael's website, and all those tickets we went up to uh, the UCCS building, and UCCS administration had told us that basically those tickets were no longer being accepted, and that they had put out their own tickets that are now sold out apparently without any advertising. And so we have to get on a wait list after buying tickets in December. Um, before yeah, because it sold out a month ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, basically, we're, we're being kept for our own event. We emailed Milo Yiannopoulos, one of the people here in the crowd, emailed him, and he said, well, we're going to try to get you in. We'll send one of our people from the crew. So, so you're at, you're, in, you're are you personally a supporter of him? Or I, I'm an a supporter of Milo or? and free okay. speech in general. I think, so uh, and even, you're not, even you're not getting in? No, I'm not getting in. Uh, nobody who bought tickets is yeah, getting in. Yeah, we all bought tickets through event. Well, I didn't, even bother, I didn't even bother getting any because I just assumed I wouldn't get in. But, yeah. <laughs> the periphery is usually more interesting than the event anyway. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do you know anything about, I guess I heard there was supposed to be some sort of free speech zone that was going to be set up? Yeah. Is that really going to happen? You mean safe? So our school sent out an email. This, uh, you're UC, you're UCS, uh, UCS, UCS, UCS University of Colorado, Colorado Springs sent out an email saying that while the event may be dangerous and there may be protesters, and also if you feel that you need to talk about this, there will be a safe zone set up in a separate event where uh, students can go and talk to counselors uh, if they feel like personally offended well, by the event. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, an updated web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.